The one and only Miss Denise from your mama's here. Great to have you with us this morning. It's good to be here. Uh, and uh, now she's got the potatoes already cut up and going here with the soup. And uh, but what do you season this with? How do you get make it get get the right mixture? Well, I do. I do season it initially with the uh, salt, pepper, and garlic because mm -hmm. I want that seasoning to go all the way through. And, and you need to always season your salt water in, initially. And then of course I put butter in it. So it, and then I actually instead of boiling it in water, mm -hmm. I'd use the chicken broth. Okay. You can use vegetable broth if you on a fast and don't need to do any meats or anything, but it would it would have the same result. Okay. okay. And you took a little shortcut there with the carrots. I like that. The shredded, they're already shredded. They're pre-washed, right? Yes. Same, <laughs> same, yeah, same right. time as much. And then I also bought my broccoli that was already cut up, so I didn't have to redo that either. You did cut them up a little smaller. Right, I did, so they can cook a little bit faster. Fresh broccoli usually cook faster anyway mm -hmm. uh, than if you got frozen or anything else. So I just put them in smaller pieces so you can... Um, so they'll cook faster and they bite size. Sure, absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, is this a popular dish there at the restaurant? Actually, we don't serve it at the ah, restaurant. Ah, so we got a free day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, um, but I did think about, because it's a lot of people that actually do, as vegetarians, and mm -hmm. they just do that. So I'll have to adjust this recipe. Okay. Just because they don't do all the cream and all that stuff. Oh, I so. got you. Okay, all right. <laughs> yeah, but we do have a lot of customers that come in now that just want... Um, I can you don't want that. vegetables. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right, so all right, we got the, uh, it's going to take a while for that, uh, the, the broccoli, obviously, to soften up there. But what, what else do you add to this to make it special? Okay, so I'm also, I'm going and add the cream. Uh, sure, well, you, yes, yeah, we are. Because, because we're not. <laughs> <laughs> we're not fasting today. <laughs> not today, we're so, not. So, yeah, so we're going to, I'm going to add the cream to it. Mm -hmm. And then, and that's going to help with the, of course, the potatoes, every time they absorb something, it's, it's just adding flavor. Right, yep. Yeah, so we're not, um. We're not gonna do much more of that. And then this is gonna, I'm gonna turn this up a little bit. And this is gonna cook a little bit. And then we also have cheese that we're gonna add to it. Mm -hmm. That's why it's like a loaded potato. Okay. Um, I did some bacon that we just, that's like, of course, again, you're taking away <laughs> from it. But if you, if that's not your problem, you can add bacon yeah, <laughs> on, top, on top of it. And um, and so it's gonna we're gonna let this boil here. And, now, and once that boils, how long, do we bring it down to a simmer? And how you know how long does the cooking process? On? It doesn't take long uh, after we after this comes back up to a boil. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna add a little bit of Parmesan cheese to okay. it. Okay, all right. And then we'll add our regular cheese and let it melt. And at that point, because the potatoes are done. That's all you need. I did want to ask you, did you add onions to the process or is that coming? I added, it was onion powder. Okay. Uh, I did not add the onions. Okay. I usually, I mean, you can grate them up and saute them and put them in there. That's the only reason I was asking. Yeah. I thought, okay, if I'm, and I, that, I love onions, some people don't. Right, and, right, um, exactly. So I'd throw those babies in there, yeah. And so, so when we, we're cooking, when you're cooking for some people, you can put them on the side and if they want to add onions, they can. Yeah. So that's generally how we do that. All right, so now, and the, I'll let you go ahead and work with that. Now, and what, are these potato cakes, like what do we have here? Actually, it's just cornbread. Um, cornbread. Okay. Instead of sticking it in the oven and doing those, you can do it in a pot, I mean, in a skillet, and just do it on top of the stove like you would a pancake. Yeah. And and just flip it over, and that's what and that's what this is. So it's like a quick way of cooking cornbread. Oh, I love that. And so when the potato soup gets done, we're going to sop that a little exactly. bit. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> this, this is why this woman, she's a woman after my own heart. No, I, <laughs> okay. All right, so uh, we're going to let that uh, get yeah, to the boil there. We're going to add our Parmesan cheese and get that going. Uh, for folks who don't know, by the way, uh, your mom is very prominent, obviously, in our city. If you've never visited there, what are the hours, by the way? They're 1030 to 230, Monday through Friday, and then on Saturday, we will have brunch this Saturday, and it's from 9 to 1. Oh, all right. So we'll be serving some of this stuff. All right, we're going to let that get to boil. We're going to add the cheese and show you the finished product, and of course, we'll have this recipe posted for you a little bit later on the WBRC News app. Some people ask me sometimes, where's the recipe? Uh, it, get po it gets posted a little bit later. It takes a little time. Uh, but you'll just click that drop down menu in the upper left corner, go down to Good Day Alabama and click on recipes and we're keeping we're gonna keep adding to the goodness here and show you this in just a minute. We'll be right, right. back. Mm -hmm.